Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. Oh no. What's God gonna happen to Rose? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. I, yeah, they're probably not going to be able to bring her back. We'll get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. So wait, are we playing Chris now? So BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's a mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yes, okay. K9, uh, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Don't Find we come back from that. Don't get Helmets Magic I'm Abuse. Mm. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if Ethan found a way. When was it last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turn herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. I, I have a scope, but I can't use the scope. Oh. Hey, Alpha. What's this? Oh, now we have a scope. They've gone too far. Well, Christ, it looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. All right, everyone, watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger, make contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. <laughs> Man. I used to feel so good with my sniper. Fuck. Western route is clear, moving out. Roger that. You know what? I was still fucking good with the sniper. I don't care that this is piss easy now. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocky. We gotta fucking avenge Ethan. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. Oh, that's probably where Miranda is. Let's go. It's fine. I can probably walk through it. Large mutated fire weapon sight. Goop juice. Hey boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. 
Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Whoa. Okay. That's weird. Okay. Umberize, I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the point. I bet you left me stuff in a house. Not that house, okay. And my face, bitch. I've it feels. Oh, this is nice. Hey, I get eyes on I'm so so satisfied about this. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> After dealing with these fuckers for so long. <laughs> Their heads go pop. I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo, marking the target. Roger that, boss. Uh, okay. Let's go for that. All right. Reloading now. Just a minute. This is small, headed that way. Ooh. I didn't mean to pick up this gun, but this gun is fun. Hit me, bitch. Ah. Looks like it's about to collapse. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. Is that your Get past you. I'm a little busy. All right. You can't hit me. You can't hit me, daddy, daddy. Daddy, daddy. Got it. <laughs> Take that. Good. Mega my seat must be below. 
Is there like a bunch of ammo? I could use more ammo. Oh, I see some ammo. Captain, Omega Mighty is underground. I'm on my way. We're just to get a bunch of shit. Thank you. How's my health doing? Oh, I see I have med injectors. Pretty hell of wounds, okay. I'm not too worried about healing just yet. Save point would be nice though. I found a way down. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Okay. Why is it always ending underground? It almost seems like uh, it ends with it being underground. Guarding the Mega Mycid, huh? Wow, you got a bigger weapon now, haven't you? I meant a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. You're on the ground. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, I'm moving out. Hold on till I get there. Ah. Fuck your knees, you don't need them. Ow. How am I supposed to? Okay, fine. Keep going. May as well. The rest of you stay above ground. Okay. <laughs> okay. Chris doesn't have plot armor. Armor. He's got thirst armor. <laughs> Chris doesn't need scope. Just interaction with enemies in the drop dead out of pure fear. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I'm guessing that Mia went to her for help. It's the Megamycete. That's... Looks like the baby thing that chased us. The fuck? Okay. Alpha the squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. I don't think Miranda's gonna be happy with you just doing that, just saying. <sighs> and two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. Okay. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been nice. Before I died. This must be Miranda's life. I'm not angry. You're angry.
So they're using this to control the bioweapon. It's... <clears throat> I'm breaking my voice down, it's actually quite late now. <laughs> my family might be trying to sleep. Or, you know, watch stuff. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor, half dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cups of another, my conviction never wavered. I realised, however, through the May nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You helped to bring back a single dead person while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mould would not have aided me in my endeavour to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution. The progenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much and for that I will be forever in your debt. Yours sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. So this is where the logo came from? Alright. Spencer, here. No way. Alright then. My Eva. I, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then. But now, now I can bring you back to life from the Megamocyte. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megamocyte regulator, the giant's, giant chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Megamocyte and the ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it, the Megamocyte, completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Megamocyte breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamocyte. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I've experimented with hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite called Candor. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. I think that's can do, but I called it Candor anyway. Uh, there were some, like Alessinia, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was approached by an organisation who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I have waited too long to see you again. I think it's called Candy. Oh, okay. So this is all so she can bring back her daughter. I don't fucking care. Bitch gotta die. Bitch killed Ethan. Bitch is gonna die. I'm not sorry. Wait. Show me your hands. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. Wait, Mia? God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. That's how they what have her voice. Mia Winters. In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it! You said that you would keep us safe. We did 
everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. Oh, no. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Come on. I think it's time for a mum versus mum off. You know what? You know what? What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Wait. Are you telling me Ethan is... Oh my fucking god. What's going on? <laughs> Someone's there? Is he a slave? What? How did I get here? God, freeze. This shit, my body. Yeah, let's just walk through water. That's not a bad idea at all. But you're so dumb. Are you meant to be Rose? Ellen? How are you here? Dead? Uh, I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Rose? <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. Uh, yeah, we were always not human. See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Remember? Uh oh, flashbacks time. Three years ago, the Baker House. Jack. You died there three years ago. That's that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. Has he seriously you never added that up? Be walking. Bro, you. What am I? I, I, I did all that. Rose, Mia, I. Oh. Uh. Something weird's going on here. How do you get it? <laughs> Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever 
never see your family again. Well, family. Family. Wow. No. Rose. I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. Dead. I want to just say right now, I'm surprised Mia did not get a yeast infection considering we made a mold. I will. <laughs> I just had to say that. Yeah, that's right, bitch. We're gonna do it. We're power through. We're gonna come back. We're gonna save Rose, I believe. I'll save you no matter what. Oh! Duke picked us up. At last, he awakes. Alright. Didn't expect Where am I? Didn't expect Duke My to save me. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. All right. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. Mm hmm. We're here. Are you like a child of Miranda's that she are. just didn't want Mr. to do? Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah, I have to be. I gotta go. Oh, hi there. That's Andy. All right. Oh. I'm going this way. See ya. It's time to get some revenge. I am a man on a mission, and that mission is to save my daughter. Fuck out of here, bitch. Get no scoped. I gotta keep going. What? 
My power is leaving me. Rose! <sighs> okay. Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, every... Get her now! <sighs> Let go! I have spent a lifetime creating this moment. You spent and more. You try to take it away from me. I mean, you try to take my daughter first, bitch. I will take what is due. <sighs> my desires will be fulfilled. No. Rose! What did she just? Did she just? You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Winters. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamycetes. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with true happiness. So now you can die peacefully. You understand the love of a parent. Oh my good lord! How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn The Metamycete saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. <laughs> Feel the dark Fucking god's wrath. Die. I can die, bitch. Oh. <laughs> now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Oh, yes. Die. I'm not even listening to your boulder dash. I'm just gonna kill you. My daughter will be made manifest at last. I've waited a century. A century. For this day. Uh huh. Why? I don't wanna. Ah. I fucked up that. I fucked up that. Why do you interfere? Surely you have no need to us now. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter. You psycho! Your life is over, Mr. Peters. Why do you still fight? She's my kid. Take her in the coochie. Wretch! <gasps> oh, hello. That's me. Good mold placement, it covers the the unmentionables. Gucci. Gucci. Gucci shot. Gucci shot. <laughs> Kill me with a Gucci shot! Take that bitch! I mean, she she got she was only focused on getting one baby back, so it wasn't like she was using it. Baby, baby, Hans. It's it's all right, Rose. It's all right. I've just discovered that half your genetics came from mold, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um. Um. Ethan, 
Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. Uh... Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Oh, Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, uh. Tell yourself. Oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. No! Like. God damn it. He's got the trigger. Goodbye, Rosemary. He's gonna do the trigger. Uh, I guess in his mind it makes sense to finish it all off himself. And bye. Rose. Go. Go, take us up now. How is she still alive though? Uh Where is Ethan? I, M M Miranda kept her prisoner. That's all we know. Get moving. We have to get clear. No, we can't go. Not without my husband. Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? Uh, he dead. He he. Let's just be like, can we talk about how you named your baby after a herb? <laughs> Rose is a valid name. Well, Where is he? the baby's only half made a rolled. Chris, what have you done? He's gone. I tried. He <laughs> stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. <laughs> Captain, you need to see this. Is he still fucking alive? No way. The SAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. What the fuck are we doing in Europe? Like a madman. Someone's got to pay. That was a fucking experience. 
Remember? Remember what? <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I know, stick to the end of the credits, I know. You want to see my grade. This song is cool though. Okay, this is much creepier reading than like when Mia did it. Jesus. So this kind of makes sense because Heisenberg doesn't. Yeah, Heisenberg never liked being told or made like made to do stuff. So this kind of does match up. Like he would be the angry one. Gifts we gave, but more you took. She snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, my Bam! Kudos to the dad, yeah. Uh, I like... I had to process losing Ethan, and then he came back, and then, and then he was gone again. And I was like, oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? But he can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, Is that okay? Rose then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. Is that Rose? You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels fresh. Does, but I think, I think that is. Yeah. So is the next one going to be about her? Hey, Dad. Happy Aww. birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Damn devil. Duty calls. I love you. So yeah, her life has been... Umbrella. 
I guess that's yeah, to be expected. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed. <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <laughs> oh, damn. Rose. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? Yeah, I'm excited. I want to see what Rose can do. I know. Getting Ashley vibes from her. Ashley? As in Until Dawn? I mean, you got his mold. <laughs> yeah, it's the mold, not the attitude, it's the mold. No. The only Ashley I can think of off the top of my head is Ashley from um, Until Dawn. <laughs> oh man, I'm hyped for the next one now. But also I'm sad that Ethan is dead. Like, I'm still sad. Their father's story is now done. Okay. Difficulty casual completion time. Still at 10 hours. Okay. Wait, I don't... Ah! <laughs> sure. It didn't give me a grade! Did, did I miss something there? Because it was like frozen and not doing anything. I thought that was just like a pre-warning, you know. Nothing else is going to happen. Do they not do grades anymore? That seems wrong. Unless, is it because it's casual? Is it because it was casual? But I got a grade when I did it on casual on uh, the other Ari. Oh well. I guess... That's it. That's it, everybody. Alright, and... That's the game.